I'm going to start. Okay, go. Stuck on a desert island, oh, and God. you could only bring one co-star. Who would you bring? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It would freak me out to be on a desert island. That's a crazy question. Think, okay, think. I actually think you and I would have a really. I think we would do. We could island. build stuff. We could go surfing. We could fish. We'd fish. We could build a water wheel for electricity. Depends on the kind of supplies we had. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. But I, I think, think we're on a TV show. I think we have good supplies. I think we covered that Got one. Got it. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> Has any scene left you speechless during a table read? Yes. <clears throat> the biggest one was uh, when uh, Jerry died. When really. My son died. That that literally I had trouble continuing to talk during that table read. Mm -hmm. This is a question that no one has ever asked before. Which one of us really deserves Olivia? I love you. Does Jake or Fitz deserve Olivia? Yeah. I think it would have to be Fitz. Excuse me? I'm saying that because Fitz has risked so much in his personal life, and I think you. Fitz has made some huge sacrifices. That's my answer. I like that. Well done. You're next. What is my, what's my question? Should Melly run for president? Yes. That's what you wanted, right? It's a solid answer. What was the moment that you realized you were a grown-up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <the same thing. laughs> I think when my, my second child was born, my first son, and uh, we were driving home from the hospital, and there were, uh, it wasn't just me and my wife and daughter. We now had, it was a full family. There were four of us, and I, I, uh, I just remember gripping the wheel tighter, thinking like, you can't drive like you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> That's and good, and yeah. I, I, uh, there was a, se a certain sense of responsibility that I felt at that moment. I think that sort of... Accountability to yeah, other people, right? And that's when I first felt like a grown-up, I think. <laughs> Ding. Oh, this is a good one. How did you propose to Marika? Oh, you know me and you'll appreciate this. I, um, I picked a fight. <laughs> <laughs> On purpose. I had, I'm, I'm terrible and I, um got her all worked up and I started a conversation. We opened a bottle of wine and, and uh, uh, started a conversation where, you know, you've been with me for a while and nothing's happening and you're sort of letting your 20s get by you and don't you think you should find someone who's really interested in <gasps> going yes. further? And she, oh, <laughs> she, she, she was, she probably like three glasses of wine into this conversation she was like, what? You're right. Why am I with you? I have no idea why I'm with you. This is ridiculous. <laughs> We're living together and I'm not, you know, and, and, uh, and then I pulled out a ring. And oh, she, my God, that's um, genius. And she started crying, and she said, is this real? Why would you do that? Why would you pick a fight with me? <laughs> <laughs> that is such a great story. How did you propose to your wife? Yeah, mine's a similar but not as slick a story. We're getting dressed to go out to dinner, and it's the night that it's going to happen. And I'm in the closet putting on my sports jacket. I have the ring in my hand, putting it in my pocket, and I, Jane's at the kitchen table. And she goes, Tony, what's this charge on the American <gasps> Express bill for $900? Because that was a lot, you know, in those days we didn't have too much money. That was like, a, the ring was like 900, it's a little more than that, but that was the deposit. Oh my on it. God. And I said, oh, and it said jeweler, like this place, Pave Jewelers in uh -huh. Santa Monica, uh -huh. California. She knew what it was. And I was like, um, so here's what I had to do. I had to sit her down and go, Jane, I'm so sorry to say this to you. I went and put a deposit down on a ring, but I didn't follow through on it. And I, you know, it doesn't awesome. mean it's not going to happen, but I, I did that and then, but it, I didn't buy the whole thing and I just, you know, I, I'm so sorry. And she starts like to tear up and was like, her face just fell. And I said, you know, it doesn't mean we're not going to, this is going to happen, but I just wasn't ready and I'm so sorry. And, and so we, <laughs> but we should go because we have a reservation. <laughs> the and so we walked to this restaurant and, um, you know, she, and she was really bummed. And we sit down and... Um, and you, you could tell, like, she was devastated. Yeah. And it was right... And she was... Yeah. So we had this tense beginning to our dinner, and then I presented the ring. That's fantastic. So it actually ended up being pretty pretty good. Oh, this is a good one. Mm hmm What do you like most about Scott Foley? His sense of humor. Okay. Least? It can be the same answer. But you're so damn handsome. Tony. If you had to play another character on Scandal, who would it be? The First Lady. No, no. Right. Um, I think no, we, it's only season four, dude. It is only season four. We may get there. there yet. <laughs> just, that's the real history between Jake and Fitz. That's right. right? Melly will be president. <laughs> Melly will be president, and you and I. Olivia will be. Who cares? <laughs> making jam in Vermont, and that was awesome. What a fun thing to do. We should have a talk show. I think we should have a talk show. Thursdays with Scott and Tony. Just come to the Oval. With <laughs> just Scott come and to Tony. the Oval, and uh, we'll <laughs> chat.